Okay, so as you could see in the uh, comments on the previous section, there was an error here when I actually set up this function to fit the delay theorem that I wrote here uh, a little bit larger, so so it's clear what we're doing here. So I, I mean, the error is mentioned in the and fixed it in the comment, but I think this particular example is worthwhile to actually um, do it again uh, in this correction video, just to make it clear what the point is um, when you do that algebra trick to fit this formula with the uh, to fit this equation with the formula uh, for the delay theorem. So, as I mentioned before, the key thing is that you need to have the function multiplied by the step function in uh, in a function of t minus a. So you have to emphasize t minus a and view this function as an expression evaluated at t minus a. In my particular case, that's t minus 3. So that is the reason why in situations like this, uh, I save these formulas for later, but in situations like this, you take this function um, and try to do some algebra manipulations to um, emphasize t minus 3. So inside this multiplication, you um, subtract and add 3. And then, of course, you distribute the 2 on the exponent, and this is where I put, this. so this should be 6, right, when you distribute the, the, the 2. So on the exponent now you have um, e to the quantity, to the power 2, t minus 3, plus 6. And now you can move e to the 6 outside when you take the Laplace eventually, right? So this will be e to the 6, e to the power 2, quantity t minus 3. So this is how you should write the function so that it fits this framework. So now when you continue with the delay theorem over here, you replace your e to the 2t with e to the 6, e to the 2 quantity t minus 3. Um, then e to the 6 can be pulled out via linearity property. And finally, your um, function is in the proper form for the delay theorem. So I want you to realize that at this point we didn't even touch the delay theorem yet. All we did here was just writing the um, uh, function in the proper form so I can use the delay theorem. Okay, so now this fits the framework f of t minus a, so now we proceed with the delay theorem which say, states that I'm going to take this function multiplied by the step function, I'm going to substitute t minus 3 with t, so that becomes e to the 2t, then I'm going to take the Laplace of e to the 2t, which is 1 over s minus 2. And then finally finish um, the problem by writing here e to the 6, which was outside from the beginning, 1 over s minus 2, um, 1 over s minus 2 coming from this, from f of s. and then e to the minus a s, which is in my case minus 3 s. All right, so e to the 6 outside, not e to the 3 as in the previous um, part. Um, so again, like I said before, you could combine the exponentials, although that's not um, important, right? So this will be e to the power 6 minus 3 s. And so you can write it in a more compact form. Um, so since we are at this thing, let's actually add a little another example of the same type, basically. Um, we don't have actually too many examples like this, because in fact, often it's not that easy to manipulate the function so you can write it this way. It's possible, but sometimes it's, uh, it's hard work. So for example, what if I have uh, to take the Laplace transform of t times uh, step t minus 1? Now this t as a function of t, again, it has to be written as a function of t minus 1, again, to put it in the proper form for the delay theorem. Uh, just like before, the idea is to subtract and add 1, right? So your t can be written as t minus 1 plus 1. And then you distribute this t minus 1, uh, I mean, the step t minus 1, you distribute it over this plus and becomes t minus 1 step t minus 1 plus 1 times step t minus 1. Okay, so now you have your function in a linear combination of two functions, but now, unlike the starting point, both of these are in the proper form for the table. This one by itself, you have the formula for the Laplace of step function, this one for the delay theorem. So 
linearity property first, L of t minus 1 step t minus 1 plus L of step t minus 1 then delay theorem for the first part. So again, let's do the process in our mind. Um, I'm going to leave some room here. So um, emphasize the steps, right? So t minus 1 becomes t. You take the Laplace of that, which is 1 over s squared, according to this formula. So following up with the delay theorem, this becomes 1 over s squared e to the minus s. And this is just 1 over s e to the minus s, the formula for the Laplace of step t minus a. So this is s squared. Let me make it clear here because it looks like times 2. So s squared. <coughs> so, so that's the main idea when, when we go from left to right uh, with the Laplace transform. So let's continue.